It is Juneteenth weekend, the day that commemorates the end of slavery in the U.S. And this is the second year it is being recognized as a federal holiday. Local 10's Alex Finney is live from Miami with a preview of one of many events taking place across South Florida. Alex. Hi, Nicole and Calvin. Yes, Juneteenth. We're talking about arts, culture, and the black experience. On that note, I want to show you this mural behind me. This was actually unveiled around 6 o'clock this evening. Just one of several different events that's going to be happening all across South Florida this weekend to commemorate the holiday. The historic Ward Rooming House in Overtown houses some of the most precious black art from local artists like Marvin Weeks to historic pieces that embody the black culture. The history of African Americans in this country has always been a creative challenge uh, to, to create a way out of no way. Chris Norwood, the founder of Hampton Art Lovers, has been curating the space at the Ward Rooming House for many years. Visual art during our time of enslavement didn't allow us the opportunity to create visual art. Uh, the only things that we have that we know that continued that tradition are things like quilt making, uh, architecture. We built so many different things and did it in an artistic way. A way that is to be celebrated today. Black culture, black people controlling the narrative when it comes to telling our stories. Today, Hampton Art Lovers will be hosting a beautiful mural unveiling on the side of the Thomas Building. Here's a preview. The building is named after Lawson Thomas, the first black judge in the South post reconstruction. This is my favorite right here, the young little girl. Anthony Moho Reed created this mural of the black experience, reaching back to our roots, shaping our present and looking toward our future. Life has been uh, a demonstration of art when it comes to black folks. So Juneteenth is a celebration of freedom. It's a celebration of liberty. Uh, it is to us, I believe, just as important as July 4th. A day to celebrate and a day to remember, that's for sure. So listen, a lot is going to be going on all across South Florida this weekend. I'm going to direct you to our website, local10.com. If you would like to go to any events happening, make sure you head there because we have a full list for you. For now, this is the very latest live in Overtown. Alex Finney, Local 10 News.